difference between vision and a goal is the finish line. A goal is 26.2 miles. You can simply count the metrics and know when you've completed your goal. As a vision is having a crystal clear sense of what the finish line looks like, but no idea of how far away it is. And it's, and the reality is you will spend your entire life never actually crossing the finish line, but the joy that every marathon you complete, you feel like you're getting closer. Every milestone that you accomplish makes you feel like you're getting closer and closer to the ideal, and this is what gives our life and our work meaning. It's just looking in the mirror and telling yourself the story that you want. I mean, and a lot of people tell the story that everybody else wants them to tell, right? So the marketing message is the story is being told from out here and then you're bringing it to you. What you have to do is tell the story you want. I wanted to be the powerful person. I wanted to be the one that people looked up to. I wanted to be the person that, that was respected. With. I just started telling that story over and over in the mirror. I mean, it was as simple as that. We suffer on all different levels of suffering. We, some people suffer on a high level, some people suffer because is the job gonna get done? Is the, we have these moments of suffering, no matter if it's five minutes of suffering or an hour of suffering or months of suffering. Some people lose a relationship and they suffer for years. And if you can limit the time you suffer, the more you can work on the solutions, the better your life. I thought, how about I just leap with my imperfection and then find my form of perfecting my imperfection while I'm sorry. How about I do that? How, how about I not, how about you not wait to get it right? You look at, you figure out how does it look doing it wrong? How does that look? Because your 80% of right is somebody else's 159% of what they needed. And when you wanna do it right and you wanna wait till you're not afraid and you wanna wait till you have it all together, oh, you made it about you again. See, Nelson Mandela did it. He just did it not knowing if it were right. Mahatma Gandhi just did it not knowing if it were right. Mother Teresa just did it not looking for affirmation or confirmation, is this right? Martin Luther King did it not even knowing if it would happen before his life ended. Because I have a dream. I mean, what are you waiting on? Are you willing to do it afraid? Because you don't achieve worthwhile goals quickly or easily, they take time. They take struggle. They take relentless pursuit day in and day out. That's what it takes. Quality of your life has nothing to do with how much money you have, how many beautiful children you have, how many people love you. The quality of your life is where you live emotionally. So we have to take control of what we focus on. We gotta come up with new meanings, empowering meanings, and then that affects what your final decision is, what am I gonna do? And that's when I realized that there's two ways to see the world. Some people see the thing that they want, and some people see the thing that prevents them from getting the thing that they want. Both of those things require hard work. You are in love because you work very hard every single day of your life to stay in love. You find a job that brings you ultimate joy because you work hard every single day to serve those around you and you maintain that joy. It's not a discovery. But the problem is the sense of impatience. It's as if an entire generation is standing at the foot of a mountain. They know exactly what they want. They can see the summit. What they can't see is the mountain this large, immovable object. Life, career fulfillment, relationships are journeys. The problem is, this entire generation has an institutionalized sense of impatience, and do they have the patience to go on the journey to maintain love, to feel fulfilled, or do they just quit and onto the next, dump and onto the next, ghost and onto the next? So let me just ask you again, I wanna go back to this. Who in your life makes you feel bad about your dreams, your goals, your desires? Because those people are affecting you whether you realize it or not. When you have a desire for that next level, someone negative, someone uh, trying to protect you, tells you you shouldn't, you can't, you might say, no, I'm not listening to them. But even if 5% of that rubs off on you, 
then you might make different choices. You might play a little bit smaller than you need to. Your confidence could be crushed just a little bit more than it needs to be crushed. Do you think in today's world, do you think being good at something with most of your confidence is enough? Do you think being excellent with 90% of your confidence is enough? Hell no. You need to be freaking outstanding. You need to rock it with your confidence at 100%. And how can your confidence be at 100% if you're letting people in your life make you dim your glow, to lower your expectations, to play safer. The woe is me mentality. It's too hard. Life isn't fair. These things in life are, are, are not easy for me. You, you, you look to your left, you look to your right, and you start to judge yourself off other people. We are judging ourselves against too many people. You have to judge yourself against yourself. And once you can silence all that, all the outside interference and things that are attracting your mind to everything, you can then start to grow in realizing, I'm stressed out for no reason. It's all that thinking, that overthinking, that thinking too big. Thinking big is about dreams. Thinking big is about goals. Thinking big is about your heart and your soul and figuring out what you want. Then once you do that and you think big and you see where you're headed, Boom, you gotta come back and you gotta go brick by brick to make that vision stick. You gotta go brick by brick to make the action stick. You gotta go brick by brick to lay that pathway forward and to keep going. And let me tell you something, I don't care how busy you are, I don't care how tired you are, I don't care how much there is to do to make this big dream forward, you have time to lay one brick a day. You really do, you really do. And this is the secret, everybody. This is the secret to everything. It's to understanding that there is no timeline to getting your dreams done. All there is to do is to allow your heart and soul to dream big, to see the path forward, and then to pull yourself into the moment every day and have the discipline to be deliberate, to lay one brick on that path, that's it. And to keep reminding yourself that everything that you're learning on the way as you lie bricks down and you move forward a little at a time, is helping you build the path. What you're gonna do is trade your life. You're trading your life for whatever it is you're going after. Whatever your goal happens to be, whatever you are pursuing, make certain it's worthy of you because you're trading your life for it.